I, I think I'll, I'll just start by saying that my experience is like my own and I, I can't speak for like other artists in Montreal, but I've had an amazing time so far. Um, I'm born and raised in Montreal. I've always been interested in arts, but I've only started doing it like more professionally. I'm doing the quotation marks things again as if it wasn't really professionally, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I'm working on it. Um, I think it's been great because um, I definitely feel a lot of support from like other artists that I know and even artists that I don't know and that I get to connect with um, when there were like still events or just like online. I think um, I've been pretty lucky for that because uh, it's all about exchanging and knowing that like even if you're not necessarily friends with the person, like you see your work, you appreciate it and you're able to um, comment on it and to just like exchange and to truly support each other and i think it's uh, for that like i feel like montreal is tiny like the artist community community like especially visual arts and uh, i'm not upset about it like because i feel like you don't really feel alone at all at, at least in my um in my perspective like i know that if i i could make a list of like a lot of artists and different like visual arts um like uh, photographers or like other painters or and it, I think it's nice because it's like you can um you can ask advice or you can just like exchange like oh you've heard of that artist no I'm gonna check check it out like just like tiny conversation that changes everything because I think being an artist is um a bold choice <laughs> uh, well not a choice not being an artist is a choice but like choosing to like um do art is a bold choice and I think that it's uh, it can definitely get scary so knowing that there are other people out there that are willing to truly support and exchange with you is definitely reassuring and um, for my part like on a more per um, personal level especially in the past um, two years or three even like I've been doing so much work in the heart of um, Montreal, sort of like uh, Saint Laurent, Montreal, and all like more downtown-ish. And um, the couple of week weeks ago, actually, I was walking on Saint Laurent and I was like, hey, I, that's the window display I did for this store. And then like walking in on um, um, like on a, a window, there was also like a poster that I designed and I was like, wow. And also, like, just seeing my stuff is always fun, but also seeing my friend's stuff is amazing, too. I'm like, hey, I know the, the artists who did that. I'm like, hey, I don't know them personally, but I know who that is. And it's nice to be able to recognize it and feel like the the city is just, like, dressed and um, your friends or people that you support or love, like, art. And I think it, it's been it's been really great. Yeah, I really love being an artist in Montreal. And I think that there's also um, room for... For artists, in a way, I know that it's not um, it's not always easy to like put your stuff out, out there, but I feel like when you do, people are gonna be interested. People want to know uh, who's doing that because it's like a cultural and artistic city, anyway, right? So people are mm -hmm. very welcoming. I find. Yeah, that's um. Thank you for sharing, and I, I'm always like in awe as well because. I like, you know, I have outspoken word artists in my bio, but I don't, I don't think of like myself being an artist as, um, you know, like the main thing that I, that I do, uh, or like the main part of my life. So it's always like wonderful to hear other artists, um, kind of speak about, about their craft. So thank you. I'm from North of Toronto. And so I moved to Montreal when I was 17. Um, so it was really a baby and it's pretty wild because I've been here now for almost 12 years. Um, and so all of my adult life has been in this city. And so it's really, it feels like home to me. I, I, I feel like I have multiple homes, but this is, you know, where I grew up. Um, this is where I started writing poetry. This is where I performed poetry for the first time. Um, and it's, yeah, it's like, as you said, Cass, it's an incredible feeling to either see kind of like your work in the world or to have your work be recognized by other people. Like I still get major, major like butterflies in the tummy, you know, and just like the sweats um, when people <laughs> recognize because you're, you know, in, in many ways, like we're still trying to recognize ourselves and to see ourselves. And, 
you know, going back to the book that was so important in the book as well, that we are, are, as you can see, you know, sharing this message to other Black girls that we still need to hear often and internalize and believe. Um, and so it's just felt like such a beautiful experience to, to um, you know, create this book and to offer it, but to also be like just as much in need of the thing that we created. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, so Montreal is home right now. And I think it's like an incredible city full, as you said, of culture and art. Um, and I, it's also, you know, I think devastating the ways in which um, so many other spaces or uh, what's the other word I'm looking for? I'll just use spaces for now, but we're losing, we're just like losing spaces um, in terms of if they're like physical venues or just, um, you know, uh, projects or initiatives that people have created. Uh, and so that's always, I think, scary when we see those like impacts or cuts to art and cuts to the things that really kind of keep us connected and keep us alive. And so I'm really grateful for all of the artists who kind of continue to, um, yeah, kind of carve out space for themselves and for each other to still create and produce and connect and share because it's so important. And like this pandemic has taught us and shown us that like without art, um, we wouldn't be here, you know? So I feel really grateful to kind of have contributed in a small, in a small way to that. <laughs>